with regulators like FATF, FinCEN, FINMA, and others increasing scrutiny of the cryptocurrency ecosystem, NetKey's Transact ID offers a way for VAST to comply with travel rule, sanctions, and other requirements. It's a simple yet powerful solution that works with both custodial and non-custodial wallets that VASPs can implement quickly and cost-effectively. Here's how Transact ID works for a hypothetical transaction. Bob and Alice want to transact on a blockchain. In the same way Alice currently shares her wallet address, she sends Bob a URL for a private, secure, encrypted connection out of band. Rather than entering Alice's wallet address in the send field, Bob simply copies and pastes the URL Alice shared. Bob's VASP, VASP-B, opens a private, secure, encrypted connection to VASP-A, Alice's VASP. VASP-A signs the opening of the connection with its own identity certificate. VASP-B examines the certificate to determine if VASP-A is a party they wish to share their and Bob's PII with. For GDPR purposes, VASP-B can optionally share VASP-A's identity data with Bob and allow Bob to choose if he is willing to share his data with VASP-A. If Bob and VASP-B accept VASP-A's certificate, they proceed with the transaction. VASP-B shares its own, as well as Bob's, validated identity information with VASP-A. VASP-A can then perform multiple checks such as OFAC to determine if the transaction is okay to proceed. If compliance fails, VASP-A refuses the transaction and it is canceled. If VASP-A needs more data about VASP-B, they can request it. VASP-A asks Alice to validate that Bob is the person with whom she is transacting. Having validated Bob and VASP-B's ID, VASP-A then shares Alice's validated identity along with an address for Bob to send funds to. VASP-B can now run sanctions or any other checks on Alice's ID. After VASP-B validates Alice's ID, Bob signs a transaction to the blockchain that looks exactly like every other address-to-address -address transaction. In this way, no personally identifying information is ever written to the blockchain. VASP-B sends VASP-A a signed payment slip that includes all transaction details using the secure connection. VASP-A watches the blockchain for the relevant transaction and sends VASP-B a signed receipt with all transaction details once the transaction has been confirmed on-chain. Even better, all of this happens behind the scenes in the time it takes to open an email. If you wish to learn more about NetKey's Transact ID, please visit us at www.netkey.com.